So people keep asking me how I make this animated character that actually follows my mouth movements in real time. Today I'm going to show you exactly how. I'm going to keep it really simple. So I've seen other tutorials on YouTube that tell you how to make an animated character and they absolutely suck. In my opinion, most of them are terrible. They use DID or something like that. It just doesn't look real at all. With this method, it'll actually follow your movements, making it much more realistic. So let's dive in. Now to do this, I used Adobe Character Animator, which is a motion capture character animator this is exactly what we need as you can see it can do your whole body we're only going to be using the head specifically the mouth now as you can see this will cost you 60 bucks a month for the creative cloud there is a start for free option i'm not quite sure oh yeah so apparently you can download it for free i'm not sure what restrictions are on that maybe it doesn't allow you to do your own character there are lots of other characters you can choose from and download from the internet however i will say there are ways to get these adobe tools absolutely for free now i'm not endorsing or recommending that but it is possible even without sailing the seven seas so once you are in adobe character animator this is the home screen as you can see you can choose one of these example puppets or you can hit see more which will take you to this website where you can browse puppets i believe starter puppets these are all completely free if you download the free version so there's actually quite a lot to choose from so go ahead and give that a look but for our purpose we're going to create our own character and to do this first of all we're going to choose this chad puppet here because he is just a disembodied head which is what we want so you're just going to click on him and now if i hit reset pose you'll see yourself in the top right here if you have your camera and microphone enabled and as you can see it will follow my every movement even if i look left and right it'll do that if i do my eyebrows up and down it will do that as well so that's pretty cool it will follow your head movements as well and as you can see of course it will do the mouth movements which is the most important part for us so to make this our own you want to select the photoshop chat and then there'll be a photoshop button here in the bottom so we're just going to hit that and that'll open photoshop Again, if you don't have Photoshop, you can get that the same way as Character Animator. Or actually, I think you can use the free online photopia.com Photoshop alternative. However, then that button obviously wouldn't work. But then all you need to do is go to Documents, Adobe, Character Animator, and you'll find your project in there, which in media will contain your Photoshop file. And then you can import that into Photopia. That should work. So now we're in Photoshop. We're going to need our character so you can use any image generator you want of course i'm going to use copilot it's completely free so i'm just going to say create an image of a handsome man sitting behind a desk sunglasses black face mask facing the viewer maybe let's have him wear a suit like mine here i came up with a cartoon version which i actually kind of like so let's use that I'm gonna hit download now first of all we want to remove his head from his body but we also want to keep the body in a separate file without the head so then when we have our animated head we can just pop him onto the body in our video editor that way we only have to animate the head and nothing else so you can keep th this whole thing in one file but i'm actually pretty terrible at photoshop and character animator and everything so the easiest way is to remove the head from the body so i just created a new photoshop here and we'll drag our new character into there so let's make him a bit bigger here and now you want to cut out his head in any way you like so either with one of the lasso tools or we can do quick selection tool and we'll just select his whole head here there we go and i'll clean this up a bit by deselecting these parts i'll just do this roughly but there we go then you want to right click that hit layer via copy and as you can see now we have our disembodied head so this is what we will be animating so the only thing i wanted animated is the mask going up and down like it would when you talk now I'm sure there are a lot better ways to do this, but I selected the mask. Again, created a new layer via copy. As you can see, there it is. So what I did is I went to edit, transform and distort. I'm sure there are better ways to do this. And then we can just drag this down and it'll make it a bit bigger so we can make sure it covers the whole face here. So we want one slightly bigger and one a lot bigger. So there's even more range. So first we'll drag this one out a bit, place it up there hit enter and then we want to just duplicate this layer and then we want to transform that new layer distort again and make it even bigger so now we have the normal one the slightly extended one and the even more extended one now this doesn't have to be perfect because in real life it's not perfect either but just play around with this until you feel it looks good to you so now if we head back to our chad you probably guess what we're doing here but we're just going to be replacing everything we want so we can actually get rid of everything that's not mouth so we can get rid of these eyes we don't need the nose or the eyebrows don't need any of that so we're just left with mouth all the different mouth sounds and the face background so our face background it's just going to be this entire image. So you just want to select the layer, Ctrl C and Ctrl V in here. Now we want to drag that to where this other one is, just above the other one. And then we can delete this old one. 
Now we want to rename this to face background. If you're wondering what the plus means, it just means that this can move independent of any other features, but these are the only features we have, so that's fine. Now what you want to do is go through each of these and replace it with either the, the second or the third layer we made. You could use the base layer as well, cut that out again. But if you just delete, say, one third of these, or which ones it makes sense when your mouth wouldn't be open, it will just revert back to the default background, which is fine too. So we're just going to go back and forth. So we're going to copy layer two, and then wherever it makes sense, we want to put it maybe like the O, say if you want to change the O, you delete that one, and we rename this one to O. Make sure to drag it on top of his face. And now every time when we are going to say the letter O or the sound O, it will use this image. So I'm just going to go through and do that for all of these. And actually, I am going to duplicate this and make this the neutral one. So here's our neutral one. We'll paste that there. Delete the old one. Now it will look a bit weird because it's going to layer them all on top of each other. But that doesn't matter as it will separate them all in character animator. So whenever you paste one in, make sure to just drag the mask down again. I'm just going to do this very roughly. Take your time doing this though. And for smile and surprised, we'll just do a random one. Doesn't really matter. It's even good if the different layered masks are not all in the exact same space or the exact same place. I mean, because in reality, that won't be the case either. Okay, so I replaced all the masks, all the mouth movements, and then we've dragged them all down here. So this is our character done now. Let's just call him something else up here. So instead of Chad, we'll do Brad. Now we're going to save this as a new file, call him Brad. So now in Character Animator, we're going to create a new project. So in our new project, you can just double click in this box here and we can upload our brad.psd. Now, if you double click on Brad here, we can see there he is. And now to actually use it, because all the files are in the right place already, as you can see, if you check this drop down list of lip sync, they're all there. So now to animate him, when he's selected, you're just going to hit add to new scene down here. And now here is our character. At the top right, you'll see yourself and you can just hit set rest pose when you're looking at your screen normally. And now whenever we talk and say the letters that we input, it will change our mask like so. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit weird. I should have dragged these masks up a little bit, but it still looks pretty damn cool. And now if you move your head, as you can see, there's our head moving and here is us talking. So the next step is just to record whatever you want to record by hitting the record button here. Hey, welcome to the new video. This is a test of Brad in Character Animator. So here we are talking and I'm moving my head a bit. There we go. Now we can hit stop and here is our whole track. Now, the cool thing is you can actually, if you zoom in by holding control and scrolling, you can actually see the individual mouth movements that it recognized and you can right click those and actually change it to the one you wanted if it's not to your liking so now we're going to have the playhead on the end here and we're going to right click it and say set work area end to playhead now we can also select this and drag this way down to the rest of them now we can right click here where we want to end and set and say trim scene to work area and here's our recording so now to make sure we can export this with a transparent background you want to go to file export and then you want to do export with alpha via adobe media encoder so hit that and as you can see it will be a .mov file so save that this will open adobe media encoder and then all you have to do is hit the play button here you can also hit enter and this will now use your gpu to export our little video we just made and there we go so we can close all this now the last thing we need is actually only the body without the head which you could do in photoshop i'm just going to use canva though because it has a really easy erase feature. So we're just going to drag our image into Canva. Then we select it and say Magic Eraser. And we should be able to just erase the entire head. Let's see what it makes of it. It won't be perfect, but that's okay. Because the head will be obscuring most of it anyway. So maybe also a little bit into the neck there. So that'll be our anchor point. Now hit Erase. There we go. It left some artifacts behind. We'll clean that up. Erase those as well. And that is pretty much perfect for what we need. So we're going to hit Save and Download. And now if we head over to any video editor of your choice. CapCut for desktop is absolutely amazing, by the way, these days, and it's completely free, which is insane. But I'm used to Filmora, so that's what I'll be using. Then we want to just import our image and our .mov scene we just made. And when we put those on the timeline, let me extend this one, put the head over top of the body, and then we only have to just adjust its size like so. And here is our finished result. Now I made a slight mistake because I was recording for this video at the same time. So it recorded two audio inputs. So you'll hear an echo, but otherwise this is what we have. 
Hey, welcome, hey, welcome to, to the new video. video. This, this is, is a test, test of for Brad, Brad in Character, in character animator. animator. So here so we are. So I'll just mute that because you might go crazy from that echoing sound in your left and right ears if you're wearing headphones. But here's our character and this is how I did it. Obviously you can clean this up a lot and make it nicer. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.